Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Official introduction, probably 10 minutes into the video, but I wanted to do like a morning, mornings in the RV type of vlog and then include other tidbits as well. I'm gonna be blow drying my hair using the shark in a little bit. Um, which mornings in the RV or life in the RV in general is not any different from life outside of the RV. It's just like a much smaller space and we travel Sometimes we travel every four days. This time we're staying here for a month while well, we've already been here for a bit. So it varies and we're not planning to do this forever. Just for a season, we do eventually want to settle down, but I just kind of wanted to uh, do like a mornings in the RV type video. But I took a shower. I probably shouldn't have done my makeup either, but I wasn't planning on going to the gym. But since, since the laundry takes like 45 minutes, I was like, let me just kill some time and go to the gym. I was doing the 3, 12, 30, but 30 minutes is such a long time. So I did it for 20 minutes and I feel like you still get a really good workout and I got to work my way up to 30 minutes. I feel like it's just, it's doable. It's just that I can't, I'm not one of those people that likes doing um, like treadmill elliptical type workouts for 30 minutes. I get, I get bored. I'm just being honest, but you still get a really good workout and like you can feel it in your hamstrings and your glutes a little bit, especially with that incline. Um, so I've been really loving having a little gym here uh, where we are staying at. They also have a pool. So we've just been really loving this whole location in general. They have like Target nearby, Walmart, the mall, so much to do. We're not too far from Houston. So it's just been really nice staying here and having more of like a versus like stay camps. I've been liking it. Also, I wanted to mention regarding the element powder that I used, I only used half the pouch this time. And I feel like it makes such a big difference compared to, I couldn't use the whole pouch. It's too salty for me. I didn't like it, wasn't a fan. I just felt like I was drinking Gatorade, but with like extra salt added in. I don't know, I wasn't crazy about it. So I used half a pouch this time and I feel like it's so much more enjoyable. But I haven't never, I've never really talked about the shark in a video and I've had it since before even Christmas time, probably like November or something like that. And I use it here and there. Honestly, I haven't used it too much. I thought I would use the curling option a lot more. That's what really excited me about this because it was kind of like the Dyson. At this point, there are a million and five videos out there regarding the shark versus the Dyson. I've never used the Dyson. I don't know. I can't speak on it, but I can speak on the shark because I have used it. <laughs> and I like it because it's kind of like an all-in-one. So it has a, well, at least the one that I have, it has a round brush attachment, a paddle attachment, and then it has the two curling attachments here so you can switch from side to side. And then you have this nozzle here, and that's everything that it comes with, the model that I have. It's great for blow drying your hair while styling it, kind of like a blowout all-in-one. I just did a video not long ago sharing how to achieve that blowout type look with um, like lift at your roots just with a blow dryer and a round brush. So I don't think you need something fancy or expensive like this. But if you like the curling attachments, then I feel like this is nice. The shark, a lot of people have mentioned that the shark gets really hot and I agree it does on the hottest settings. At some points I can literally see steam coming from this. That's how hot it gets so it does get really hot. But you can always lower the temperature so you don't have to use it at that highest setting. But some people actually like the hot setting because I've read comments saying like, oh I have really like coarse frizzy hair so the higher heat setting is better for my hair type so I guess it just depends. I also have the IG In Glam from Amazon and that one is nice. That one doesn't get as hot and I hate that they increased the price to like $200 I saw. I don't know what it is now. When I bought it, it was like with coupon code, like under $140. So I hate that Amazon sellers do that based off of demand. They will just like increase the price like crazy. Whereas brands like Shark and Dyson, they kind of have like a set price. Sometimes they'll have sales, but unless you're buying from a third party, their price is their price. So that's the thing with Amazon sellers. I don't like that. It is nice. It's pretty decent quality, so if it ever goes back to like 140, I would say grab it because it's pretty good. Um, but at 200 dollars, I would say just get the shark. Add in a couple, like what it's like 60 dollars more, something like that, and just get the shark. It's not worth getting the IG in Glen for 200 dollars. I wouldn't do it. Um, I only bought it because it was like I was like, wow, 140. That's pretty good price or how much I paid so I just wanted to share a little mini tutorial of styling my hair using the shark finally since I never really used it in a video and what I do is I use it on the highest heat setting honestly I'm just being honest and what I'll do is kind of like hold it at the root a little bit and then um, brush it through and I'll do that for the entire head and then when I get to like my curtain bangs that's when I like to use these guys right here to kind of give that curtain bang thing
last section here, I kind of do the same exact thing that I did when I did the round brush with a hair dryer. I'll start in the back here. section all the way because I'm going to use those curling attachments. I'm going to switch out the attachments. Be sure to hold it at the tip here because this does get really, really hot. And just pop this one out. I'm going to pick up one barrel. I'm just going to use one. clip it and let it cool down I just take it right out it's like initially it looks a little bit funky but then it kind of like flattens out a little bit more and looks a lot better I wanted to wait until my hair settled down a bit so you can kind of get the true results because obviously at first you know the hair looks so beautiful and amazing it's just blow dried and then throughout the day starts to lay flat one of the main reasons why I really like the shark is because it leaves my hair feeling very feeling very silky smooth and the round brush is very similar to the Revlon so I will say if you're only going to use the shark for the round brush attachment you're better off getting the Revlon because the Revlon left my hair very smooth as well but the shark is nice because it also has those curling barrel attachments which I don't use Use those to curl my hair I use my t3 interchangeable barrel curling iron that way I get like a nice controlled curl and my hair already doesn't hold a curl as it is so with the shark it's like forget it I'd rather use my t3 but the shark has like that same technology as the Dyson or similar I'm not sure about the technology where it's like less damaging so it's great if you have a lot of hair it's great if you have a longer hair but I have used them on my hair to try curl my hair and what I end up with is kind of like a almost like a blowout look so it still looks really nice so you can use it um, but it's just like a lot of work if you want to get like a nice curl in my opinion but it's nice to have and I'm so glad that Shark came out with their own version because the Dyson is just so expensive I don't think I would I personally would never buy it just because it's so expensive for my hair type in particular for me not to use it enough so I would definitely recommend the Shark I think I think it's worth it it's nice to have especially since it has like all those different attachments and who knows maybe they'll come out with more different ones in the future kind of like Dyson has they came out with like different longer barrels and things like that so I would say it's worth it definitely grab it it's a little pricey but it's a lot more affordable than the Dyson and I would recommend that one over the IG and Glam one is nice if IG and Glam decides to lower their price back to what it was like under $140 then the IG and Glam one is nice to have as well. But at like $200, I would say spend a little bit more and get the Shark. I would say the Shark, they did a really good job with it. It works well and I do I do like having it. I would recommend it. So those are just some of my thoughts on that. So I have to go pick up the laundry now and fold it. My husband went to go run some errands with the kids. So I think I'm going to finish the vlog here. I just kind of wanted to get into the groove of vlogging. I've been vlogging every single day since like Friday, I think. I prefer sit down videos where I can like share directly about a product, but then I also like vlogs because then I can share about like random stuff, like literally just random stuff. So if I'm talking about a nail video, I'm doing a nail video, I can't just share about like a coffee powder that I really like, you know? Whereas with vlogs, I feel like I can do that. So that's why I like vlogs, but I'm trying to like get better at it. I used to do it a lot more, I feel like when I first started my channel and then I kind of just stopped completely so I don't know I hope you guys have been enjoying them and I truly appreciate everybody that watches my videos thank you guys so much and hopefully I will see you guys very very soon